Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is a nice Wednesday morning about 9 30. Things are getting off to a good start. I, I got to have some time with Grace this morning which is really nice. She's back down now and then her nanny gets here at 10 so I figured I could get a jump start on um, some work stuff. Oh and then also at 10 Amber and her team are getting here, the professional organizer, to finish the upstairs closets. They started those yesterday and it's going so much faster than the downstairs closet. The office is a little askew right now as uh, everything is getting organized and put back together. But actually before they get here, let me show you where we're at right now. So out here right now is all of the stuff that we moved out of the equipment closet, including this shelf with like a bunch of random prop things. All of my equipment is in these uh, baskets that are gonna be sliding drawers in the Alpha system. And then in here, we've, we've got all the podcast stuff out still since we filmed a uh, new episode yesterday with Ryan and Paloma. But in here, this is where we usually store all my equipment. All the stuff in the hallway used to be here. It is now a blank slate, fresh coat of paint. That's why the fans are going. And then today, everything's gonna go back in there. And then down the hall in the filming studio, we have all of the clothes that we wanna keep for styling purposes, for future videos, but that I don't need in my personal closet. So that is now all up here and it is going to be going in here, <laughs> which is also a nice blank slate with a fresh coat of paint. So they're gonna be building in the same closet system that we did downstairs and then organizing all of this stuff so that hopefully if in a future video I need a mesh crop top, <laughs> we go, oh, we already have one and I know exactly where to find it. So that is the current state of my closets and they should be finished either today or tomorrow. Regardless, I'm gonna include it in this vlog. So uh, before you finish this video, we'll get to see the final reveal. <laughs> We've got the team here hello. hello and ryan gets to be here in person hello. usually ryan's zooming in for the merch calls we're doing a merch uh meeting right now um but today we get to have you in person which I'm is so, so nice excited. <laughs> I, I love in person meetings they're me more too. productive for me at least yeah me too and we're gonna do it outside which is like a nice change of pace i've been doing zoom calls all morning so i get to be around people in real life and we're gonna hang out outside we've got lunch on the way it's great <laughs> just finished the lunch meeting. It went great. I'm really, really excited. It was about all things for the Confident and Kind merch launch at the end of this year for fall winter, which may seem really far off. And we actually have a spring summer launch that's coming before this collection. All the designs are done on that. That's being manufactured right now. So now we're transitioning to working on like the creative and the designs and stuff for the end of year launch. And I think two collections a year feels good to me. Like one for warm weather, one for cold weather. Anyways, that was a great meeting. Um, I came into my closet to pull some outfit options for an event I'm going to in LA this weekend. So I've got that all sorted out. And then I think, yeah, my grocery delivery just got here. Oh, can I one hand it so I can keep vlogging? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my groceries delivered from Walmart Plus, who is sponsoring today's vlog, which is so great because I did not have time to go to the grocery store today, but um, we need groceries. I've been stretching last week's groceries pretty thin. So this morning I just logged on to my Walmart Plus account and was able to schedule a same day delivery for all the fresh groceries I needed. So Walmart Plus is a membership by Walmart that helps you save more time, more money. So you can just get whatever you need whenever you need it. So you get free delivery of fresh, high quality groceries and more at the same low prices that you do in store. And Walmart Plus members also get early access to deals and special member pricing for fuel. So you can get started today with a 30 day free trial. And after the trial, Walmart Plus is only $98 a year and there's no markups, there's no delivery fees. So visit walmartplus.com to uh, get started on your free trial. This is gonna be so great. I really wanted to make these black bean wraps that I saw from a TikTok recipe for dinner tonight. And so I was able to get everything else I needed and more on Walmart Plus. I got sour cream, onion, red bell peppers, zucchini. Everything looks super, super fresh too. And Tapatio, we were all out of Tapatio. I can't have a black bean wrap without this, are you kidding me? Also got some berries so Grace and I can have yogurt bowls tomorrow, avocados, cauliflower, lemons, all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna get this all put away and then get back into work. Couple more hours of stuff and then Wednesdays is when Kenzie works in office and we always like to go to the gym after work so I'm hoping I can wrap up by like five. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, Mama is in comfy clothes, and we are gonna make some uh, black bean and veggie wraps. You ready, my little sous chef? And this recipe is from TikTok, so I will link it in the description if anyone else wants to try it. It's zucchini, onion, red bell pepper. These are all things you like. I think you're really gonna like it. I made graces into a little quesadilla and then I also served her some of the extra veggie and black bean mix on the side. And then we have extra veggies for lunch tomorrow, which is great. And then for Steven and I, I made us each one with a whole wheat wrap and one with a regular tortilla. So we can kind of see which one we like better. And then our veggies are pretty spicy. That's why I cooked graces separate. But we also have a bunch extra for tomorrow and probably the next day too. <laughs> All right, for you, Grace is already working through hers. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. <laughs> Little hot sauce dipping pile and we're in business. Big fan of the bean mix. Yeah, really, tasty. really good veggies, really good seasoning. Definitely adding this one into the meal rotation. It's so good. It was also pretty easy. And especially if I prepped the veggies in advance, this would be just like a really quick one pan meal. All right, it is now about 7.45 p.m. Grace is down and I thought giving myself a little facial sounded really nice. So I just washed and exfoliated and it had been like probably two or three weeks since I last exfoliated. So my skin just feels like, it feels new. It feels like soft and, and bright and refreshed. And I'm sure it'll feel even better once I like actually put all my products on. I think I had told you guys that I, I wanted to start using a retinal cream, but I was waiting until I was done breastfeeding. This is the one that I ended up getting, the Polish choice 1% retinol and I love it. I feel like it's pretty gentle, but it still works. So I tend to use this like once or twice a week right now. Then I'm going to use my heavier moisturizer. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus. My skin's been feeling pretty dry, so I feel like just putting this on overnight will hopefully revitalize it and help with that moisture barrier. Oh man, this is like almost out. <laughs> Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Some eye cream. This is the La Mer Eye Concentrate. It's really freaking expensive, but it does last forever because you, you're only using a teeny bit of it. Oh, my skin feels so good. <laughs> Well, I am gonna enjoy my white claw, curl up on the couch, wait for Survivor to start. Oh my gosh, look at my postpartum hairs. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it, but my little postpartum hairs here are just like sticking straight out. <laughs> Grace is gonna be 10 months old on Friday and my postpartum hairs are still just out of control. <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. Uh, Grace and I are just about to head off to our mommy and me class. We have to leave in like 20 minutes and she's still asleep. So I'm gonna go wake her up, give her her bottle, get her dressed and we'll get going. We had a great time at Mommy and Me, as always. It's such a highlight of the week for both of us. We got home about an hour ago and just did some playtime, had breakfast, and now I just put Grace down for a nap and her nanny's gonna be here in like 15 minutes, so time to transition in to work mode. I'm gonna take a shower, I wanna shave. I'm filming a swim review today for Skims Swim. Well, I'm filming like the, the try-on part and then over the course of next week, I'm gonna be filming like actually trying each swimsuit in the water but today it's just like the in-studio part. So I think I'm gonna hop in. Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna hop in the shower, but I actually have something I'm gonna do first. I need to order Grace's flower girl dress for my brother's wedding in June. So excited. My sister-in-law just decided on it. So she sent me the link. I need to buy it. And yeah, I can't believe Grace is gonna be the flower girl. They actually were supposed to have like their big wedding in 2020, but because of COVID, they just got legally married then and then decided to postpone their big reception. So that's happening this June. 
soon, which what's nuts is I wasn't even pregnant with Grace yet when they got legally married. And now Grace is gonna be a year old at their wedding and she's the flower girl. Bonkers, <laughs> it's nuts. But the little dress is so cute, oh my gosh. All right, up at my desk, getting some work done, a little bit of editing, a little bit of prep for today's shoot. But I'm gonna take a pause because Amber said that both of the closets are fully done, fully ready. So we're gonna do a big reveal. I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> this is like actually a reveal. Yeah, like a real, Like I haven't reveal. seen it. <laughs> I'm excited because it is pretty. Yeah, and with the downstairs one, like we did a reveal, but I knew what it looked yeah. like. <laughs> and this is like your true reaction, so yeah. I'm excited. This was like 100% you guys and I, I'm so excited to see. Nothing. Yeah, you, have, you really haven't seen anything, huh? No, okay. I, I popped in yesterday morning and I saw the closet had been like painted and torn down, but really not, not much was in yet. Okay, Okay. so we have, uh, first closet is the equipment closet in Jess's office and the podcast studio. Are you ready okay. I'm ready. Okay. You wanna open the door? I wanna open the door. <laughs> oh my God. You have seriously outdone yourself. Oh my gosh. All of my like random props from old videos and stuff are organized. We have the retired merch, some extra PR boxes, my camera bags and stuff. And then, oh, I love this little spot. So this is a workspace top. That way when you are packing your bag or you need to refill your camera or grab a charger or you're packing a bag. We can a lay everything here. Yes. Oh, I love yeah. that. Jess, how does it feel? I feel very special. <laughs> <laughs> very. I love it. It's so great. Amber, you outdid yourself. You really did. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the studio. This is the closet that like, I feel like the equipment closet was the one that's gonna change Jess's work the most. This is the one that's gonna change things the most for me because these were all clothes that used to be in my closet. Yeah. And now when we're getting ready for a video, I can just go in here and pull like whatever I need that I don't have in my closet. Exactly, like a true dressing room. Yes, yeah, this is like, the dresser you're yeah. for my videos. Well, I'll, again, you can okay. All right. You know what? No, you, you can do this. I'll give you the honors this time. <laughs> oh my god. This literally feels twice as big. That's my first thought. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. Oh, and we have all shoes for videos, accessories, activewear, clothes, like everything. Everything has a place. Everything. So when I need to find like a, a white knit sweater for a video, it's right here. I don't have to dig through 10 piles of stuff. Wow. I have a few hangers on the way. Okay. Um, those are being special ordered. They're Wait. being shipped here. So you'll just swap them in. Yeah. And the paper rolls in the back. I, oh my gosh. Honestly, favorite part of this whole that project. That seems my life. I was making sure I'm like, well, I hope there's enough room there should be for them to perfectly slide. And, and there is. Um, I was going to recommend we do need some sort of like stool that should yes. probably stay in here. Sounds um, good. If you need to, I can find one if you want like a folding one. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That'd like be a great. Step, like a two, like a two step, step, step ladder. Yeah. And then we can put it back there with yeah. the paper rolls. The yeah, one that's like great. cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything you find a is cute. cute. One, right? That sounds great. So in about 20 minutes here, we're gonna start filming the main channel video. But before we do that, I wanna do a little try on with you guys. So in the next couple months, I am going to four weddings. <laughs> one of them I'm in, my brother's wedding. So I have a bridesmaid's dress for that, but I still wanted to get a dress for the rehearsal dinner. And then the other three weddings, I needed to find something to wear for those too. So. I bought some dresses online, <laughs> four dresses to be exact, from the brand Baltic Born. I've ordered from them before and I really like them. So I bought four dresses and I'm hoping that I like and keep two of them and then I'll return the other two because I don't need to wear a new dress for each event, but I feel like two is good, you know, then I can alternate. So I'm gonna try these on and uh, we'll do it together. Okay, so I figured I'd try this one first since at least online, it was like by far my favorite. And oh my gosh, I am obsessed. 
This one is a, a, a hard yes. I was really looking for dresses that I felt like were comfortable and also that I could wear like a normal bra with, but that were like ethereal and pretty and dressy and like made me feel confident. And I feel like this dress just fits the bill. It's so pretty. I love how the sleeves are sheer and it has the tie at the waist and the slit in the leg. The only thing I need to do is get the length hemmed. Other than that, I really feel like it's perfect and I feel like I, I could easily dance in this dress without worrying about anything. Wow, I love it. Okay, if this ends up being the only one I like and the only one I keep and I wear it to everything this summer, I am totally fine with that. This, <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. All right, okay, Baltic Born is really coming through. I like this dress a lot as well. Not quite as much as the last one. It doesn't have like that wow factor, but I do like this one. I feel like it's a good contender. I think it would need a little bit more altering than the first one, but uh, a great option. All right, here is number three, and I'm kind of torn on this one. Um, and maybe it's the chiffon, but it, it feels a little bridesmaids -y to me. I don't know, if I was deciding between the second and third one, one, I don't know which one I would pick because I feel like when I first put this one on, I was like, mm, no, but the longer I stay in it, the more I like it. Ooh, okay, this one is different. This one's shorter, like mid calf length and it's a different cut. It has this little like tie in the front and I really like it. I mean, I, I loved the cuts of the three first dresses, but they were all very similar and there's a reason for that. Like I, I love that style of dress, but I do think it's fun to have different styles and I really, really like this one. It's comfortable, it fits nice, it's just very like loose and breezy. But two concerns. First, does it look kind of look like an old style nightgown? <laughs> and second, should I get a second green dress if I'm gonna keep the first one or should I switch it up? I'm a little torn. I feel like this would be so great for the rehearsal dinner and as a guest dress, but I I don't know, L let me know what you guys think. I've got a couple weeks until the return window closes, so I think I'll wait until this vlog goes up and get some input from you guys, because I'm for sure keeping the first one, but I'm kind of split on the last three. All right, review is in process. I'm in swim bike shorts right now. Never even thought of this as like a swim option, but I, I'm actually really loving it. Next week is when I'm actually gonna be testing them in the water, and I'm interested to see what these feel like when they're wet, but at least while they're dry, I. I really like them. Oh my gosh, we're on the last swimsuit of the video and it's their uh, monokini. And it, it it's a little yikes. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Alrighty, we are wrapped. Back to the office. It is 4.58 p.m. and we were scheduled to wrap filming at five, so we're right on time. Grace's nanny is gonna be downstairs with her until 5.30, so I have a little bit more time to organize the footage and just kind of tie up loose ends. And then at six, my little brother, Austin, and his girlfriend, Bethany, are gonna come over for dinner, which I'm really excited about because I haven't seen them in, I think, like two or three weeks, which doesn't seem like a long time, but I, I just love my brother. I love his girlfriend, so I'm excited to see them. It'll be fun. Whoa! <laughs> How big is Grace? So big! <laughs> Hi! You know I love ya? I love you so much! Yes! Oh my goodness! Thumb right on the lens? Wow! I love you! So big! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Da, da, da! Can you say, Mama? Mama. <laughs> eh, not quite. <laughs> it's the giraffe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is exciting building Legos with Dada, huh? There's the giraffe. Ta-da. Grace, there's a giraffe on your head. She's lost the book. But not the armadillo. Behold the armadillo. With his armadillo nose. The nose can take him anywhere. He follows where it goes. And now for armadillo jumps on armadillo toes. Remember the armadillo book? Again, he strolls along the road. Okay, so Austin and Bethany are here. Um, we had a great dinner. Grace is asleep now. And we're filming TikToks. <laughs> 
So Austin and I did the lookalike challenge on my TikTok and then we wanted to film something for his TikTok too, which I'm gonna link his TikTok profile in the description. So definitely check it out, give him a follow. Um, but we're trying to do the cheeky cheeky boom boom trend. If, if you know, you know, I'm not even gonna try and explain it, but it's hard because you have to film it in slow motion and then it speeds it up after. So we're trying our best. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> Well, that is gonna be it for today's vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Go follow Austin on TikTok to yep. see the results. Yeah, follow me on TikTok. And I'll see you next time. Farewell. Bye. <laughs>